Uh, we have a mist and possibly smoke in the uh, cabin. We have a fume in the cockpit. Aircraft 1695, Mayday. We have smoke. Uh, we're going to through re landing, please. Seabird 718, we have a fume event in the cockpit. We would either like uh, an immediate approach into Zurich. Uh, we have some smoke and bad odor in the cabin, and we need to uh, come back to uh, GFK. We are deferring yeah, emergency. Okay. You understand that the uh, smoke has gotten a little bit worse in the uh, cabin there. We are getting priority handling into San Francisco. We should have you on the ground here very, very uh, shortly. Uh, six miles. Six miles. And there is some kind of intoxication with about 11 crew members and some and a few passengers. You will need some ambulances on the ground in Vancouver. Yes, thank you. There was a, a kind of intoxication with the smell on the aircraft. Um, Pilots confirm the alarming rise of events. We do have fume events on a daily basis. Eyewitnesses give dramatic testimonies of events they've encountered. Mein erster Gedanke war eigentlich so fühlt es sich an wie wenn man vergast wird. Toxicologists are concerned. These are harmful compounds. Organophosphates were originally made essentially to kill and to kill essentially humans because they were made as nerve gases. It's an issue with the design of jet engines and the way aircraft cabins are pressurized. It's one that should have remained one of the industry's best kept secrets. Most passengers are not aware that the air they breathe aboard flights comes straight out of the engines and that this air can be toxic. But the industry hesitates to say exactly which chemicals are released and inhaled during what's called a fume event. They know they will have to deal with it but they're trying to buy themselves time. 